my audience. This is my audience. My name is Taven Hurley, and today I'm going to talk about military expenses in the USA. Today in America, there are certain things that people spend an excess amount of money on that is not necessary. One in particular that is extremely costly is the military. What Americans do not realize is that although military is important in protecting America, there are other things that are also important that need sufficient funds, such as health care, police forces, and education. The government should allow spending to be more equally distributed between these issues. Also, Americans must keep in mind the debt America is in today. Some of the money used to pay for military expenses could possibly help pay the debt America is in. In, in America, health care has become a huge issue. If some of the military expenses went to health care, it would help millions of Americans. There are 147 million American citizens that are uninsured. This number can easily be decreased if there were a bit more funding that could indeed come from military costs. In doing this, uh, in doing this it would improve health care in America and make it easier for lower income families to become insured. It is very hard for uninsured Americans to get the health care they need without becoming in debt with what they end up or with what they end up not going to the dentist or a doctor because they cannot afford it. In cutting back on military expenses and providing a few dollar, dollars towards health care, the benefits would hopefully then add some comfort to the lower income families. Not only will cutting down the cost benefit Americans without health insurance, but it would give America room to improve on other necessities such as police forces. It should be a priority to put some put more money into police forces that uh, the fact that police forces tend to the citizens of America protect the people and try to clean up the streets should be something that people look into funding more. Military is not the only force that keeps America safe. While they fight the battle outside, there are men here that fight the battle within America. Police forces are a big part of public safety and with more funding for the police forces it could open up more opportunities for them to increase the effectiveness of the police force. Therefore keeping the citizens within America safe. As for education systems, uh, education plays a huge role in society and most of the younger population today in America. Having more money for schools could benefit students all over the states by having either nicer facilities and more opportunities to motivate students to get an education. There are often some schools that do not have a lot of money. Schools that might not be as nice in certain neighborhoods tend to draw and tend to draw in students that are at school for the wrong reasons, whether it's gang violence or drugs. It also creates a bad environment for other students if military funds were broken up and there were to be more balanced funding for education. They could fix up schools and create a better image of the schools so that students might be more encouraged to attend school and receive the education they deserve. Debt is also a serious issue in America today. With all the military expenses, it is not helping. Although there are other expenses within America, the military does not, in fact, take up a huge portion of the debt. Since September 2007, the debt has continued to increase. Americans are now spending $4.06 million a day, which tallies the debt to a lot. <laughs> if you split the large sum up between each American, where the population of America is three thousand is Three billion ten million four hundred forty nine thousand one hundred eighty people. It means that each person's share in debt would equal forty six thousand seventy six per person. There are many concerns within America that can easily be dealt with. With funding, however, with being in debt and so much of the funding 
<laughs> going it going into military makes it harder for those other concerns to be resolved. The spending needs to be more balanced in order to make these changes. America cannot afford to keep putting the money they do into military to improve health insurance, police forces, and education systems as well. I'm going to show you a graph of how much our country spends compared to other countries on military. This is U.S. and here are the other countries. So as you can see, U.S. exceeds every country by a wide margin. And that is all I have to say about military spending in the USA. Thanks.